And now it's time for the penalty box, where I give out give out rather dubious honors to the worst of the worst from the past week. And now the two-minute minor goes to Max Pacioretty and Michael Grabowski. In case you missed it, Toronto's Michael Grabowski bit Montreal's Max Pacioretty his bare hand. In writing, one can interpret that as Grabowski being the guilty one and Pacioretty being innocent. But that's not exactly what happened. Pacioretty wrapped his arm around Grabowski's face in a scrum that's very frequent between the Montreal Canadiens and the Toronto Maple Leafs. Except in, in this instance, his hand was covering Grabowski's mouth. Now, if somebody was putting his or her hand on my mouth to prevent me from breathing, I'd Try to fight back to make sure I could breathe again, because that's not cool. Grabowski didn't really have much of a choice between because he was surrounded by a huge pile among, along the boards in the typical Canadian's Maple Leaf scrum. So he decided that biting Patchy Reddy's hand was the best solution. I am not defending Grabowski in this little scrum right here. Biting pe- other people is disgusting and unsanitary and can cause people to get just disgusting diseases and no one should ever do that. Patchy Reddy is at fault here too because he was covering Grabowski's mouth. There's no need to do that. You can just like punch, punch each other in the, the chest or whatever. Don't cover somebody's mouth. That's just that's classless. And now the five minute major goes to Brad Stoppitz and Bruce Boudreau of the Anaheim Ducks. Brad Stoppitz on Friday night committed two penalties against the Dallas Stars that led directly to two power play goals from a struggling Dallas Stars power play unit. Both of them were stupid penalties. The first one was a roughing. The second one was even dumber. It was a spearing major that he took when he speared Dallas Stars rookie defenseman Brendan Dillon in the nuts. And they can't say that over, over, the, over the broadcast. But that's exactly what happened. Why I include... Bruce Boudreaux in this is because he stated after the game that Stoppage should never have gotten a penalty on that play. I'm sorry. I missed the memo where it was legal to put your stick in between an opponent's legs in an effort to injure him. That's not a penalty, Coach Boudreaux. That's not a penalty. Okay. I understand you wanting to stir the pot, but that is an overtop comment. That's definitely a penalty. You don't do that in the National Hockey League unless you're a goon. And apparently Stoppitz is a goon like no other. And now the game misconduct goes to NHL officiating, which is a little ironic. Now, I give them the game misconduct because they badly screwed up officiating on a call on David Backus and Andrew Desjardins on a play that is one of the most hotly debated topics in the National Hockey League in terms of player safety. Hits to the head. Both David Backus and Andrew Desjardins were given match penalties for hits to the head. And when one looks at the replays for both hits, the principal point of contact was not in the head. And that is verbatim the rule of the 48.2, rule 48.2, hits to the head. That is the rule that has been stressed so much over the last year and a half. Both calls were downright awful. But the call on David Backus, and I let me qualify. This did occur February first, so technically not last week. But they need to be this; these two need to be grouped together. The call on David Backus is the early front earner for the worst call of the year. Backus in in the game against the Detroit Red Wings on February first. Backus led with his shoulder and placed a hit on Red Wings defenseman Kent Huskins' chest. And the referee behind the play ruled that Backus hit Huskins in the head because Huskins' head whipped back as a result of getting hit in the chest. Backus was given a match penalty and a game misconduct for the play. And the Red Wings scored on the power play as a result of the blown call and won the game. The NHL rescinded Backus's match penalty very soon after the game. Andrew Desjardins' hit on Chicago's Jamal Mayers was also a clean hockey hit, as I mentioned earlier, as Desjardins led with his shoulder and hit Mayers' shoulder. As far as I knew, shoulder-to-shoulder hits were legal, but not that night, as officials overreacted to an explosive hit and assumed that Mayers was hit in the head, even though he got right back up after the hit and was totally fine. The Blackhawks 
also won this game, but they didn't score on a power play because Duncan Keith evened things up by going after Desjardins. The NHL rescinded Desjardins' match penalty before the media scrum was over, so basically minutes after the game. The NHL essentially told the, the Sharks, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, we messed up. Sorry about that. Good job. Good effort, referees. Good job. That's way to embarrass your league. We will take a break, but coming up, the three stars and the games of the week for this week.